subtract 11 27 minus 2 27 and then simplify your answer. Well the key here is that when we're subtracting two fractions we want to have the same denominator and in this case we do. We have the 27s and they both match. So all we need to do is subtract the numerators 11 minus 2 over our common denominator. We just keep the common denominator. So you see all we did here was we subtract the numerators and we keep the common denominator. We did not subtract the denominators. All we do is we just bring them over as our common denominator. So now 11 minus 2 is 9 over 27. Now we can actually simplify this if we notice that there's a common factor of 9 in both the numerator and the denominator there's since 27 is 3 times 9 so we can actually divide both the numerator and the denominator by 9 to reduce or simplify our fraction so 9 divided by 9 is 1 and 27 divided by 9 is 3 and that is our answer simplified or reduced in lowest terms so let's take a look at a Another example, let's subtract, let's say, oh, 7 fifteenths minus 2 fifteenths. And well, let's say, oh, 7 fifteenths minus 2 fifteenths. So again, what we want to do is notice first that our denominators are the same in both fractions which is good that makes our our work a bit easier so we have like denominators already so now all we need to do is subtract the numerators 7 minus 2 over 15 we kept the same denominator well 7 minus 2 is 5 over 15 and now again we have a common factor of 5 in both the numerator and the denominator so we can divide the numerator by 5 and we can divide the denominator by 5 and 5 divided by 5 is 1 aha see we end up with the same not all fractions not all differences of fractions end up one third so why why don't we try one more uh, example? Let's say we want to subtract. Oh, let's try to come up with one a little different. Nine. Oh, nine thirteenths minus four thirteenths. Okay, again, we have the same denominator which gives us uh, 13 in the bottom and 9 minus 4 is 5 and 5 thirteenths is simplified now we could let's start let's take a look at one more example it's a little bit different let's say we had 1 and 2 thirds minus one-third. Okay, now, this is a mixed fraction minus an ordinary fraction. One approach I like to use is to make this mixed fraction turn into what we call an improper fraction by multiplying 3 times 1 plus 2. Well, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. That becomes our numerator and we just keep the denominator so this one and two-thirds is now five-thirds and you can verify that if you just divide three into five you get one with a remainder of two so it's one and two-thirds so now five-thirds minus one-third we have the same denominator so now we just subtract switch colors here five Five minus one 
and we have the same denominator, so we just bring the common denominator over. So that's 5 minus 1 is 4 thirds, which is reduced. That is an improper fraction. You could also write that as 1 and 1 third. So I hope this helps clear up some subtraction of fractions with like denominators. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, where they don't match.